Oh, it's in front of us. Oh boy. I don't like it. We're gonna see if we can get him loaded up and uh, out of here. Do you want a microphone? I'm just gonna talk. Oh, we're on? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Guys, we're going to a winch out. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Fully focused on trying to find somebody in a Jeep that's uh, down here with the police officer. Lights. I guess I'm trying to wrap my mind around the situation here. Well, for counting. Oh. He said, oh, it's just a simple pull. No, you should just be able to grab the front of it. But you'll need the whole <coughs> road. Hmm, yes. Thank you. He's got the road blocked over here for us. I'll put out cones on the other side. Thank you. Hello. That back tire's down there, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, hanging it off is. pretty good. That tire's the one off of the ground. Were you trying to turn around? Um, yeah. yeah. And I really just want to prevent the whole car from scraping the stop sign, if that's possible. Oh, well, and you can see it there. Oh yeah, it should be fine. Okay. He's over on that side, so it'll pull say, out. I just want to prevent Yeah. That. Jeff, you got about an inch and a half from that stop sign. Are the keys in it? No, I have them right here. Yeah,
that back car can stay on. Uh, no, I don't think it is. I think it needs to be going back. Yeah, it's, it's too far back still. Okay guys, I think I'm with the program now. <laughs> I don't know, it's in La La Land. It's one o'clock in the morning. I think I deserve to be in La La Land. Uh, just come back from Gatlinburg doing a toady impound. Not sure what the situation was over there, but uh, we just so happened to be about seven to 10 minutes away from uh, this winch out call that, that the county was over here with. Um, it was a pretty simple deal. It wasn't nothing crazy. Just a two-wheel drive being pulled back up on. But it was really deep on that one side. It was. Yeah, that back tire was way down there. Those kids said that they were just trying to turn around and they just backed off into that ditch. And very easy to do. Just a bunch of local kids. And see, the locals even getting in trouble for that stuff. Yeah, it doesn't matter who you are. It's, I mean, it's a rainy, nasty night here. And yeah, it doesn't take much to get slid off of one of these little drainage dishes because we have drainage dishes everywhere. Connor Heights and this little cut through here goes right to the parkway. A lot of uh, a lot of new cabins up in this area. It's dark. I know you guys can't see but um, it's about to go back to big lights and big city. I don't know if it's a big city. It's a big city? <laughs> no. It's not a big city. No. <laughs> <laughs> big lights and small city. With a big attitude. Yes, it does have big attitude. Yes, it does. Along with everybody in it. <laughs> but here we are in big attitude, big city, small city. Shout out to the county officer there. He didn't even ask. He just went up, blocked the road. That was awesome. Yeah, he's he was like, like, okay. I know what you need to do. Let's just do it. Get out of here. Let's get out of here. It's raining. It's cold. I don't need to be standing out here in this nonsense. So, yeah. Big shout out to the to the sheriff helping us out there. We appreciate the help. And um, I don't know. I'm gonna continue with my numbed mind and go home. Okay, YouTube. Uh, we are Turkey Nest over here in Gatlinburg. Um, got a call in from from another tow company, uh, Mr. Cap. We appreciate you, Cap. Uh, said that it was gonna take quite a bit of rope to make this happen but there's a box truck that's about to turn over and it was going to take a lot of rigging and he didn't really have the rigging available so he wanted us to come i told him we'd come look at it we might have to call him back for his help as well but we might need an assist on that one who knows we shall see yeah i don't know what what the situation is i didn't really get a good explanation but i know it's a a box truck and it's about to turn over and he did say that the police are here, so it was kind of a hurry up, get over there and do this. I don't like this area up here. Why? Why is there a box truck up here? Yeah, we had a big pump truck up here, right here on this driveway that was hung up. I don't know if you guys remember that winch out or not, but. Oh, here we go. I see the police. Oh boy. Cars coming in. Coming yeah, in. man. <laughs> we had a pump truck once up here. Uh -huh. Tried to make that corner, and it was 
Well, I guess what the kid is, he's telling me that they kind of pulled it with that yeah. touch at first and then put it back. But it's easy. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely coming over. Yeah. So we've gotten a transit van from this area, uh, a pump truck, this thing now, seems like we've had something else here before, it's a popular spot. I got fresh gloves for the occasion. Okay, so this is what this side of this looks like. So they were coming out of this driveway and the front end just slid. You can see the tire marks there where it slid down. And it ended up like this. This back tire is barely on the ground. So we've grabbed the box with some synthetic. We've doubled back to this tree over here. Hard to see, but it's there. And then the blue goes this way to the truck. <laughs> yeah, he's just tightening that. Hopefully, we have enough cable to do it. Hopefully, we don't have too much cable. He's going to hook to the front on the other side, too. We'll do the camera on that side. Looks like we have quite a few police officers with us now. All right. I didn't hook anything on the front. I didn't know if you wanted the axle or the wheel. Okay. I'm gonna turn his microphone on and hand him this camera so he can put it down over there on that side. I hope that doesn't cut the cable. What's it look like up against the bed? Do I need to get some? I don't see any sharp. Just look for sharp edges. I think we're good underneath. Okay, just making sure. It's going under the tire. I don't think it's going to stay. Huh? I can't hold that up there. Can you help? Yeah. Oh, I hope there's no spiders in this ditch. Can you go back over on that side? No. Are you sure? Because it's scary. Yeah.
wants to keep getting my, I don't want to break my, I'll get a different, I'll hook, I'll hook a different way. Okay. I'll go back in front on the other side. Um, the blue cable looks like it's close to the bottom. If you'll come, if you'll come let me out on that, then I'll coast down the hill. But I want that back one left on there. Okay. I'm gonna leave this front one too, cause I might need help getting out of that ditch. You'll definitely need help getting out of that ditch, cause it's big. Okay, so tell me what you want me to do. Um, I want to put it into neutral. Okay. You and then I'm gonna break. steer down the hill. Okay. And then you're going to let out on this one as I come down the hill okay. so it doesn't turn over. Don't run over me. Hey, you want me to let out on this one too? No, that, I should be coming to you. Okay. Tell me oh, he's got keys. Hey. Oh, you're okay. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Not if you don't have to. I'm tightening it. Okay. Because it looks tippy still. Okay, here we go some more. It's going to be super tippy coming up over that. Your front wheel is not on the ground. It'll come up. Huh? It'll come up. You've got control over it. I don't have any. I'm just ready with the brake. It'll go. A little bit more. Do you want to hold the brake while I release that? It's in park and the emergency brake's on. All right, ready to go out on that one? Yeah. Yeah.
Credit card or cash? Cash. Okay, no, no credit card. Okay, I'll get your receipt. Hey, you got business card? Yeah, yeah, I'll get you one. Oh, you have a YouTube channel? Yeah. You have a YouTube? Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. you, man. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you, man. Yeah. I'm glad everybody's okay and, and you still have a truck to work with. Exactly. <laughs> and the equipment is <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, guys. Gosh dang, man. Gatlinburg officers. I tell you what. It's like not only do they help us in every way, shape, or form, but they're just so cool. Yes. Like everybody, I could, yeah, would just get together and hang out, you know? If it wasn't in a, a work setting, I guess. <laughs> Everybody's just so awesome. So we appreciate you, Gatlinburg. For sure. For being amazing. That one, uh, you know, I could have called Cat back and he would have come out in a heartbeat and, uh, and helped me with that one. But I don't know that there would have been enough room. Yeah, I don't think there would have. For everybody. And he was 100% right. When he called, he said, listen, you're going to have to tie off the back of that thing or it is going to come at you. It is going to be on your truck. And he was 100% correct. It was funny because he, uh, yeah, he, <laughs> when we got there, the guys had tried to pull it with their pickup truck. And uh, that was exactly what was going to happen. They were oh, about to turn Lord, it over. Yes. So they knew what was going on. And uh, just, yeah, that was kind of a tough one. So I keep... Compliments of Shorty, Mr. Stooksberry, if you're watching this, uh, I appreciate all of your advice as well because I would not keep that stuff on my truck if it wasn't for uh, for Stooksberry. You're talking uh, about the synthetic. The synthetic, I'm sorry. I just, I'm talking and I'm, I'm <laughs> assuming that everybody knows what I'm talking about. The synthetic cable, guys, I, I keep, man, I've probably got 400 foot of. And it, we have used every foot of it at times. Yeah, it's uh that right there was the perfect there was no way i mean I, i've only got about a i've got less than that now because i re-spooled my winch cables and i got shorted on cable um i had about 135 ish foot on a factory on my factory cables and i re-spooled and i ended up uh the supplier gave me about 100 foot so i i'm shy about 35 ish foot of, of cable and uh the synthetic is all the world guys i mean i can i can grab that stuff quickly and i and we keep some in the bronco we mm -hmm. keep we keep it on the polaris it's quick and easy but no you have to be careful with it you have so, to be very careful yeah if you it. guys watch that video that is the downfall um so i'm coming up around that box you got to make sure that there's fire hose in place where there's any sharp edges that'll cut that um you want smooth edges and, and nothing that's going to compromise that that rope. But you know, up and around, a high pull. Uh, compliments of Kristen here on the uh, on the rigging. There, I was I was kind <laughs> of confused. confused. I'm like, what are you? It, you? Somebody can tell you something, but I'm not I'm I not a visual kind of. I person. said, loop it through the other end, and you were just like gone. You're like, like, no, I, I, I don't you know. You want what me you to mean. do what? <laughs> yeah, I'm not a visual person. It's okay. Which is kind of crazy because I can I can see how things need to come out, but I. Yeah, certain things I'm just, I have a hard time with. But anyway, uh, we got that looped, got a high pull on the top of that box, and it pulled right over. It really did. And those guys helped too. He yeah. helped get that hooked up and everything. I think he was fascinated trying to see what you were trying to do. Yeah, but we got that thing, uh, got enough pressure on the back, enough tension on the back. Something. And uh, it come, it leveled out, and once we got it leveled out, then we were able to pivot the front end back down the hill, and and we left that back cable in place, and it kind of helped guide. That way, I didn't have to do anything with the truck. The truck was just in neutral, and we were just letting out on the cable, and it was holding it level at the same time of coming out out of that ditch. So it worked out flawless. Slowly. Slowly and true. Slowly and controlled. But we appreciate you guys watching. Uh, hope everybody's having a good new year. It's kind of uh, winding down here. It's really strange to see downtown Gatlinburg this dead. Um, but we're getting a little bit of a break. We're getting things fixed up on our new lot. So the much needed downtime is much needed. Yes, we will make good use of it. So we're excited about getting that fixed up. So when you guys come to visit us, uh, it's, it's a cool place to come and meet and get pictures and if I'm not there, we plan on doing some cool things that uh, 
you guys can come and, and just be a cool location for you guys to visit because we appreciate the support everybody coming from all over the world to visit our location and uh, we want to make it as nice as possible so we're super excited about having the new lot and it's coming together and I'll get you guys some footage of that as well but again comment down below we love hearing from you guys if there's something different that I should have done on that recovery that would have helped or even if it hurt it <laughs> uh, just yeah we love hearing from you guys so comment